I was looking into vibe coding to build a simple task manager, something to keep track of all the activities going on with my kiddo, family, friends, everything this summer. It's a lot. Now these tools, they looked amazing, but in minutes I could spin an, up a landing page or an app using platforms like Bolt and Lovable. No heavy coding required, just fast, easy building. But before I jumped in, I checked with my dev team at Secure Labs and I'm so glad I did because while vibe coding can be a great way to prototype or create something fast, it also comes with serious risks, especially for beginners. So here is what I learned. Vibe coding, it's exploding right now. Tools like Cursor, Windsurf, Klein, VO.dev are everywhere. The interfaces are beautiful. The promise is to build the next big app idea within hours, not weeks or months. It's, but we all know speed isn't safe all the time. One of the first things my team pointed out was how easy it was to accidentally expose API keys, secrets, and even private user data. For example, Cursor and Windsurf default to public sharing unless you know how to lock things down. And that's just one vulnerability. People are building fast and leaving their back doors wide open. Scammers know this. They're watching these platforms for exposed endpoints and unsecured projects. And since vibe coding is still new, there aren't really many built-in guardrails, especially if you're not thinking like a developer. So before you start building your summer side project, here are a few tips. One, start simple. Platforms like Bolt and Lovable are great for testing ideas. Stick with free tiers. Keep your app light and get familiar with how they work. You have to protect your data. Never paste an API key or secrets directly into a project unless you know exactly where that data is going. Look for .env file support or password protect access if you're not ready to go public. Check your privacy settings. Many of these tools default to sharing publicly, especially when you're collaborating or exporting. Double check what's being shared. Research the platform. Search for the platform in the tool plus words like scam, exposure, reviews. You'll quickly find out what others have run into if they have any issues. And remember, Vibe Coding is not a replacement for developers. It's a tool. And like any tool, it's only safe when you know how to use it. So yes, I still plan to build that personalized task manager, but I'm doing it with much with a much better understanding of the risks and just how to build something secure from the start. Be cyber safe.